Gohan vs. the Saiyan hybrid is here. Zaki finally shows his true strength. Gohan's true power is finally revealed. Gohan starts fighting Zaki. Zaki says, It seems that his energy is totally different from Goku and Vegeta's energy. In the same way that Vegeta uses Ultra Ego, showing the wrath of his power, and Goku shows the calmness of his ki with Ultra Instinct. You fight like you combine the power of both. Yet, there's something more. There seems to be a purity and anger in your fists. You're an interesting boy. Son Gohan is your name, isn't it? You have the respect of Zaki, the god of destruction of Universe 14. It will be an honor to eliminate you. Gohan starts to smile and says, I can't say which power is higher, if it's mine or if it's my father's, but it still doesn't matter because I have a mission and that mission is to protect the Earth and you are a threat. I will finish you off and I will protect Earth and truly show my true power. At that moment, we can see that several destruction cats were being eliminated. A voice comes up and says, It looks like I really managed to show all my power here. These cats of destruction are really a pain in the ass. I would have to finish each one and show what the true meaning of energy is. Let's go there now. It is time for truth and heavenly power to be revealed. At that instant, we can see a large opening and a crack in a time rift on planet Earth. A great warrior ends up coming out of the time rift. Who is this warrior? Back to the battle of Gohan. Gohan, after hitting Zaki's face, realizes that Zaki is very calm. Zaki starts laughing and says, this is fascinating. This is incredible. It means that you are the Saiyan hybrid of the prophecy. It reminds me of the same way that I was chosen as a Saiyan of my universe. At that moment, Gohan observes Zaki and speaks. What? Are you a Saiyan too? Alright partner, why don't you whack that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well connected to our entire universe of Z warriors. Let's get back to it. Gohan is surprised to discover that Zaki was also a Saiyan. Gohan notices that Zaki's skin color and hair are totally different from all Saiyans he knows. At that instant, Gohan speaks. But after the darker skin, those dark eyes, that hair color, he has Saiyan traits, but he's still quite different. I can't understand. Your key is that of a Saiyan, but your appearance is totally different. I'm a hybrid Saiyan of two races. Is there a possibility of him being... No, it's not possible that could happen. At that moment, Zaki starts to laugh and says, <laughs> Let's see, you will be eliminated by me, Son Gohan. You question yourself too much. This is just a fight in a war where the strongest will emerge victorious. Can you understand that? You are talking to the warrior who will erase your existence from the whole universe. But I must deduce that the mix of races you know among suspected sins must make sense. That Saiyan race next to a human. In this way, you have become a hybrid. As for me, I remember it like it was yesterday. The reflections that my father used to say. At that moment, we have a small flashback of Zaki. We see a being with long black hair, a Saiyan with very high energy. Everyone feared him. They knew that he could increasingly show high skills. The birth of a prodigy was shown. That Saiyan who manages to raise his powers more and more. At that moment, we can see that the Saiyan that had been shown was Zaki's father. In a few moments, the Saiyans conquered several planets and showed different skills. All the energy that had been shown and all the power that had been raised is shown. Everyone knew that another being from this planet was appearing. A combination of powers that was closely linked to a goddess of destruction that possessed the energy of destruction combined with the power of Makayoshin demons had just emerged. She was considered the goddess of death. At the time, Isaac's father, being a Saiyan, became involved with the goddess of death. A fruit has appeared. The birth of Zaki. That Saiyan who possessed Makayoshin demonic power combined with the power of a Saiyan comes about. For a moment, considered the most powerful hybrid in his universe. Zaki, after getting old, was considered as the Saiyan son of a demon and was looked down upon by all of his race. 
until the day Zaki unleashed his powers and wiped out most of his race. Several collapses that happened between his planets, he began to want to do things his way, destroying everything. By the time Zaki flees his universe because he can't take the Sins and Makayoshins anymore, Zaki wanders to Universe 14 and finds Kai who was considered the hero of everything. Kai says, Hey boy, if you keep wrecking things here, you'll be disposed of by me. I am the hero of all universes, the Angel Kai. At that moment, Zaki starts to laugh and says, Haha, <laughs> that means you won't attack me directly. Did I understand correctly? Does he not care about my appearance? Is he giving me the power of choice? Who is this guy? Haha, <laughs> very good. So let's go. If you manage to defeat me, I will stop destroying everything. Otherwise, I will destroy you and everyone and take this universe for myself. Kai starts to laugh and says, <laughs> I think it would be interesting if you were defeated by me to follow me. You're not really a bad guy. I can feel it deep in your heart. After all, I am a hero. You would definitely learn a lot more things on your journey and I, as a hero, have an obligation to protect everyone, and even you, who are the evil doers. At that instant, Kai and Zaki begin to have a battle. The battle that lasted 100 days. All universes began to shudder. Several planets for several days suffered earthquakes and people could not leave their homes, all due to the blows that collided between Zaki and Kai. Even Zaki being a Saiyan hybrid and Kai being an angel, the two managed to fight on equal terms. Kai was more and more impressed and happy with Zaki's performance in the fight. Kai was weakening. Zaki also didn't have much energy until the moment the two give the last punch. At that moment, Kai goes to the ground. In a few moments, Zaki's body is thrown away. Kai stands up and says, this fight was fantastic. Zaki remains on the floor, laughing and says, That was fantastic. Now you could eliminate me. At that moment, Kai observes and speaks. I think you got it wrong. Maybe you can still be a hero. You have to understand the meaning of a hero. I could never eliminate you. After all, heroes save lives and don't end them. He could have only misunderstood things. Come on, follow me. You are very strong. From now on, we will be the heroes of this universe and we will fight to protect this universe at all costs. Back to current times, Gohan watches and speaks. It means then that you were always beside the angel of universe 14. Are you that strong? Interesting. An angel fought you for 100 days you managed to fight an angel for all that time and still came out alive. Zaki starts laughing and says, I fought Kai during that period, but I'm sure now I would be able to defeat him. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's settle this soon. You already know too much about me, son Gohan. At that moment, Gohan sees Piccolo being thrown away by Banzarot. Banzarot appears in front of Zaki and says, I see you're in need of help, Zaki. Looks like you're too weak, having trouble defeating this guy. <laughs> Zaki, I see you talk too much. Let's finish this sale soon. At that instant, a huge explosion happens in Universe 7. Broly had already activated his berserk form and says, I'm tired of these destruction cats. Let's go save Goku soon. Gohan needs help. Tell me, who do I have to defeat? Banzerot starts laughing and says, Let's see, looks like we have another unexpected visitor here. To be continued. Alright partner, what do you believe and what do you imagine about all this? Regardless of what it is, it's more than important that you share your thoughts in the comments below so we can get into a crazy debate. Whack that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. That's all there is to it and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.